Hello, my kings and queens, my gods and goddesses. Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully, you guys are doing well, blessed, and highly favored, and keeping your vibration high also. Thank you for the likes, shares, and subscribes, you all. Mwah, mwah. Thank you so, so very much. For those of you that are new joining, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Gender is fluid on this channel, so he can be a she, she can be a he. Flip the roles as you need to, as the message pertains to you, whatever resonates, okay? This could be past, present, or future energy, people, places, things, events, times. So only take what resonates. Um, I do use profanity on this channel. I do curse according to my energy and those that are collected. So um, this can be clarity, validation for some of you. <clears throat> I will be pulling from the makeshift deck and using tarot if I need to, um, to further clarify you guys. And we're just going to jump right into the read, okay? But first, let me say, y'all know how, you might hear me sucking my teeth or whatever, because the most annoying thing to me is like to have like some meat or, <clears throat> um, Like sesame seeds and things like that, like large between my teeth or something is annoying because if I can feel it with my tongue, I'm trying to, you know, get my floss stick. So I got a floss stick too. And you know how like when you get to what it is and you finally get it and you see it, it's like this, it feels bigger than what it is when you actually finally see it on your floss I'm just like, when I finally got to him, I'm like, yes. Now I can just stop fucking with it. Because it is aggravating when you don't get it right then. And you keep feeling it. It's like, damn, I thought I got it. But it was just annoying. Like, you know, I didn't want to stop until I got it. <clears throat> so somebody here could be um, adamant about getting to something or... Um, achieve, uh, achieving, getting, like, like, achieving something, like, yeah, somebody might be adamant, like, consistent, persistent with <clears throat> getting something out the way, like, getting rid of something, moving something completely out the way. Um, so that they can feel better about themselves or, you know, better about a situation. They just want something to pass. Like they just wanted to be gone. Like what I was just saying about something, you know, lost between your teeth is it's like, you want to, you feel it, but you want to get it. You, you know what I'm saying? You just can't get it out. It's annoying. You feel it there, you know, it's there, but you don't want to get too aggressive and then hurt yourself trying to, you know. Um, get so much you know, between your teeth. <clears throat> so it's somebody here. Energy I'm picking up on this. You know, annoyed by something they trying to reach, get to, remove, and it's just not happening fast enough, but it's going to happen. So let's see what comes out. All right, collective. Messages for the moment. Collective Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What are the messages for the Holy Spirit? What are the messages for the Collective Holy Spirit? First card out is sibling jealousy. Sibling jealousy here. Let's keep going.
Please don't give up or stop loving me. Divine feminine. She came out in another class. Somebody people talking about you harshly collecting. So this could be a jealous sibling doing this. So whoever this sibling, this jealous sibling is, could be, you know, a sister, brother collected. This could be a brother. This could be... You know, two sisters or two brothers or a brother and a sister. But whoever this jealous sibling is that's talking about you, people talking about you harshly, this is somebody that for some of you, you may have had some differences with your sibling. You know, um, female wives, you may have had some Issues, some issues, you know, with you guys getting along or seeing things eye to eye. But this is a sibling that normally talks behind your back anyway, collected. Um, sister or brother here, but this is a sibling, this jealous sibling normally talks behind your back anyway. Could be a younger, the youngest. And for some of you, it could be the middle child. Middle sibling here. Between the middle and the youngest. Um, <clears throat> they they do a lot of talking behind your back anyway. So this pillar talking harshly for some of y'all collective with your sister or brother. Um, I'm getting this is a sister sister thing for some of you and a sister brother. A brother, brother, and a sister, sister here. But this is somebody that normally talk behind your back anyway because, you know, you guys um, don't have the same mom and dad. No, you don't have the same dad. So for some of you, this is uh, not a blood sibling. This is a step sibling. Um, Y'all don't have the same dad, but you have the same mom, but you're still considered brother and sister, you know, still considered siblings. So, you know, for a lot of you, that's irrelevant, but this sibling normally talks behind your back anyway. But this is a sibling that doesn't really take your advice, even though your advice is better than what they're getting, you know, across the board from people they call friends. This is a sibling that also... gets put down complimentary wise when it comes to you collective because i'm getting you know how when you um say when certain people are say um oh this is my sister my oldest sister my oldest brother and you say this to somebody that don't really know you to have sisters and brothers but you know because you mostly be the only one that be well known in the public eye or in the community or whatever or as time go on like you know by you being the oldest or next to the oldest or something like that you know they see more of you than your other siblings so when they do get introduced to some when these siblings do get introduced by you or they introduce themselves to others that know you they don't know if y'all really related because they don't look anything like you they you know 
have a history about them or, you know, whoever knows them and knows you knows your sibling to have a, a reputation based on rumors and things of that nature, you know, um, as far as this person saying that they're your sibling. You know, the people that know you. But this is a sibling that normally talks behind your back anyway. And they have had issues, you know, with compliments, you know, that you get that they don't get. Child, listen. So this person pillar talking about you harshly, you know, to their man, you know, and this sibling also has had, you know, men, you know, they boyfriends in the past that have been attracted to you collective, you know, being this person's oldest sibling. And they don't, that this just added to their jealousy of you and envy and just spite. You know, is what I'm getting here. Just pure hate, hateful. But this person has a reputation about themselves just amongst, you know, just on a personal note, this person got a reputation for themselves. They they are the cause of this reputation, but this is the same sibling for some of you that projects their reputation onto you because they know the people that give you these compliments don't know how to fact check or ain't got nobody to fact check what the, this sibling might be saying about you when they talking talking shit. You know what I'm saying? And most of the time, it's like talking shit in a state and a city where nobody knows you. You That person can pretty much get away with saying some or anything about you to these people in this area, whoever they converse and hang out with, keep company with, because they don't know you. And they don't know how to get in contact with you and some of them don't care to because they don't know you the way this sibling is describing you. They don't know you as their person. So they more or less looking at why this sibling is even, you know, going out of their way to say what they're saying. You know, this is what I'm getting here. So this person pillow talking now because what they were saying out in the open to people that may have known you, went to high school with you, went to college with you, live next door to you that you know you may have been classmates with things of that nature this sibling like i said is a middle or a younger sibling to you the youngest or the middle child or whatever but this person is jealous of you you know for others of you this is a brother brother situation you know where like i said flip the rolls as you need to this is a brother that doesn't get along with the other one, but, you know, on the surface, you know, when you see them together, it looks like they get along, they're in perfect harmony, they vibing, but this is a older sibling that doesn't, you know, really view, you know, they middle sibling or the youngest or whatever, the way they think they do. The way this youngest or this middle sibling think they older brother view them you know, they think their relationship is toward each other. The way, the way they see it, that's not how it really is. Behind the scenes, this brother talks shit about them. Talks shit about their decision making. You know, their way of life. Some of the choices, like I said, some of the choices they made that, you know, wasn't well thought out. They didn't put a whole lot of thought into it and had some pretty bad outcome. And this older sibling may have, you know, said a few words in the past or currently, presently, you know, in the present moment when this brother done came toward them, but they didn't really say everything that they wanted to say to him until they was, you know, lying, lying in bed next to whoever they with. And they saying, you know, some pretty regular shit that they didn't tell their sibling when they was talking to him or whenever they talked to him is what I'm getting here. So, uh, And somebody rejected, you know, somebody rejected their love for you because of their family. Yep. Somebody rejected their love for you because of their family. This person fought them. They had a battle within themselves. They had a battle that led to a war. A war led to a battle within themselves, you know, about their feelings towards you. Collective man or woman. 
but this person did this, you know, all to sh you know to show up and you know save face for themselves when it came to their family. This person is a people pleaser. They did. They took the. This person chose hurting you over they family disapproving of them or they parents or they sibling or somebody, you know, having something, you know, to say about them being with you. This person took, you know, they view of you over how they feel about you. They took, you know, their family's view, whoever this family member is. They took this jealous sibling's view of you know, they mindset towards you or they opinion of you, they weighed and leaned more on that and this sibling don't even like their ass. This, this sibling is jealous of them, you know, because of the choices they have to choose from, but because they have some pretty good opportunities and choices, this sibling don't, I mean, whoever this past person is to you collective, um, whether this is a good friend, friend, a lover's friend, just somebody you was intimate with, or a past lover here. This is a person that got a brother that, you know, they that's jealous of them. But when it came to you collective, you know, this this masculine, you know, took the advice and listened to, you know, some family that was actually jealous of him. You know, and one sibling in particular and they, he then like i said this masculine may feel like him and his brother is a tight knit close you know tight fit close knit type of vibe and and connection and family and blood but baby this is not that it's really not and people take family you know to feel as though they get away with murder and to be honest with you some of them do because they don't want to go against the grain of family. Like family, you know, wouldn't go against the grain for theirs. Family would, you know, duck and they would stop, drop, and roll on your ass if they could. Because they don't want to go face nothing head on, you know, side by side with you anyway. Especially if they've been pillow talking shit, you know, pillow talking harshly about you any damn way. They're going to let you run into that brick, brick wall because they've been talking about you running into brick walls for the longest. Why stop now? So. And all this person do is think of you since they rejected you. They rejected the love they had for you They when they rejected you. You know, for their family. And, you know, um, there's a, you know, a female, a feminine out here that, you know, is thinking constantly about, you know, the, a divine masculine here. And this could be somebody from this masculine's past collective, you know, this is you. But this is somebody, you know, from this person's past that female-wise, you know, is always thinking about him. But this is somebody he cut off. Okay, this is somebody he rejected the love he know he felt for this person, and this person is easily persuaded. This person is easily influenced. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna even say a person too old to be doing this, but damn, how long you gonna keep being mentally mindful? You know, out of good, you know, situations, good opportunities, good people. You know, the lives of good people. Like you keep getting, you know mentally screwed every time you involve outside people and not want to see the forest for the trees because you feel like this family they wouldn't do me like that they already have made their mark in your life they have looked at the destruction that they put you know they two cents in and watched your ass be easily manipulated to the point where they know and talk about how they'll tell you this and you'll go act on it and now you ain't got nobody They'll tell you that you go act on it and now you're dealing with somebody that is messing around with your brother too. For, you know, for others of you, this master ain't got a jealous sibling, but they jealous sibling or uh, uh, take his sloppy seconds, you know, in a heartbeat. And for some of y'all, they have. They have. 
with several, you know, of they brothers, you know, uh, partners, whether they was on the outs with each other or, you know, just fresh in or whatever. But if these women look like they was having a lot of fun and enjoying this person's brother, this person, this person brother had they choosing picks because this brother always brought somebody different around. But this is a sibling that this masculine had from your past collective that, you know, they had they choosing picks when it came to their brother's, you know, selections, choices when it came to women. And they have had they little they didn't had they little taste of just just they brother's buffet. They didn't they done pulled up to their brother buffet table plenty of times to partake in the very destruction they sit around and pillow talk about when they talking about their brother. For others of you, this you know is a sister that has dated you know some some guys has some boyfriends that were attracted to her older sister or her, you know, her middle sister or whatever. And this sibling never really said nothing, but they do behind the scenes. When they pillow talking harshly about you with they, you know, they boo thing or somebody they, you know, think is 10 toes down for them and really ain't. You know, this person just around, you know, to get, what they can get out out your sibling and they out the door for some of y'all. You know, for others of y'all, this person is sitting around talking about how this this younger sibling of yours that's jealous or this middle sibling of yours that's jealous of you. This this person they with is looking at you, you know, like they, they wish they had met you first, even though you're the oldest. You know, they know this this sister jealous as she is, this, whoever they pillow talking with know they jealous. That's what makes it so bad. You know how I do to pick up on, you know, messy female. That's what I'm getting here. You got a sibling here collective. For those of you that's um feminine, you know, collective, that's part of the collective here. You got for some of you, you got a female sibling here that is jealous of the fact that you got some some rave reviews by some of their boyfriend that you ain't even studying. But because they know they boyfriends done been you know shown you know to the, you know they don't show photos of you to this person or this person ended up finding out how you look and they compare you you guys to you know what he saw with, with whatever picture they thought they was going to show their boyfriend or whoever they pillow talking with whatever they thought this masculine was going to say about you collective they didn't and it has made this sibling, you know, even more jealous, you know, when it comes to that. But for others of you, this is a masculine with a brother that's, you know, jealous of him. But at the same time, you know, he enjoying the, the, the mistakes that he orchestrating in his brother life that he benefiting from, too. But you unbothered, collective. You definitely unbothered. And this right here bothered a lot of folks, you know, when they made a decision, you know, based on what they found to think and, and you walked away without an argument, you got ghosted without a, a dilemma, some drama or whatever they thought was going to happen when they ghosted you or when, you know, you decided to walk away and they did things to aid you in walking away is what I'm getting here. This, this man, there's a masculine here, uh, collective. They allow, you know, some breadcrumbing and some low-key, you know, mental abuse, you know, mind games and stuff like that, fake love and, you know, some other shit to the point they ended up, you know, trying to show you fake love, you know, because of what their family thought when they really didn't, you know, believe in the fake love they were showing because they actually love you. They actually love you, in love with you is what I'm hearing. But they allow whatever feelings you had or whatever you may have felt about them that made you walk away, they allowed it to happen because they felt like it would have been better for you to do it on your own so they can blame you for walking away and say, you know, you did something or you had something going on that made you walk away from them so they wouldn't have to be looked at like, you know, they made a decision. 
but is but they did. They just allowed whatever you guys you know had going on to just get to the point that you would walk away. Child, what I took. This person took their mama's advice. Not just a sibling, but their mama's advice. And this is a masculine um, that has a female that thinks about them a lot. You know, but this is also the same masculine that allowed his mama to make him make a, a, deci a decision that he gave, you know, his full, what's that thing they say when somebody running for office um, in a campaign? I approve this message. This person signed off on the very thing they mama, you know, gave advice on and instruction on, and they signed off on the shit. They approved what they mama said and what she felt, you know, this masculine should do, how he should handle this, and they did that, and it, and it turned into what it turned into with y'all collective, and y'all, you know, ended up never going anywhere, getting anywhere with the time you guys invested in each other, you know, here and there, back and forth, with no solid, you know, answer or anything of that nature, this person wasn't intending on giving you a solid answer being with you because they mama didn't want them to. They mama didn't want them with you. You know, and for others of you, they had a jealous, you know, you had a masculine here that allowed a je jealous sibling, you know, to intervene in their decision making. You know, but this person is also battling and dealing with a, a, a jealous sibling here that t pillar talk about their ass on a random basis, not just, you know, behind closed doors, but to anybody that'll listen when they know it ain't going to get back to their sibling. The way I feel about it, child, like this masculine ever think that they can try to come back around to you collective, did they mama ought to be the one that, you know, come through. If she, you know, gonna be in this masculine's life as long as, you know, he wants you back. Because I don't see how this masculine gonna wanna bend the block with you and come back around and, and fuck with you um, without they mama finding out or knowing and having some type of say about it or having, you know, turn her back on this masculine if she find out he went against her, um, you know, her advice to him when it came to you collecting. But, you know, this masculine may try to come back around and want to converse with you and talk with you, but he may not tell you that his mama played a lot, a, a, a huge part in how he walked away and allowed the love he had for you to um take this hit like it did and him not real you know him not think that you know you would be available to him anymore after this this masculine did not think you know that your presence would be missed the way it is now because it's normally you be done came back around by now and involved yourself with this person some type of way. But that hasn't happened yet. But this person, if they think they're going to be in the block collective, this person better bring their mama with them. Because if they decide they're going to come towards you and try to win you back, they going to have to do this with their mom aware of what they're doing. Because otherwise, this person is going to lead you on. And find some type of way to allow their family or their mama to accept you coming around based on what their mama feel. Because for, uh, for some of you collective, this man brought you around their mama knowing their mama didn't like you. <laughs> sure. Stuff like this can be avoided. It can. But this is what she raising. This, I mean, she raised the boy already. You know, for her to further manipulate and toxify you know, his mind and his decision-making and his destiny, the way she doing. 
Tower, tower, tower. That's all I can say. Somebody a traveling male escort on the low anyway. What the hell is going on here? <sighs> Robert could be significant here. To this read. Or this could be you or your past person. Or someone in your past person circle or family. Canada can be significant here, collectively. Somebody here could be a lover of the stars. Could be in the astrology here. Astrology could be in the astrology. A study astrology. Or you could be a star seed. And somebody's a lover of the stars. Somebody can be in their forties. This can significant to this read. The Bronx, New York, can be significant to this read. Somebody can be from the Bronx. Any water sign can be significant here. To this read Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. This could be you, your past person, or it could be highly aspected in their chart, or someone in their circle or family. It could be um, a water sign here, any one of these, um, or any fire sign, or earth sign, or it could be highly aspected in their chart, yours, or their. Um, circle of family here with those involved. Yep, so it can be any water sign. It could be highly aspected in your chart.
just said somebody is a people pleaser. He listening to family, taking advice from his mom. Somebody is in the gang stalking, but somebody definitely a damn people pleaser. Somebody gang stalking somebody here. Let's see some notes in this game stopping for the why is this game stopping right here? Who is this? It's doing this game stuff. Why is this out here? It's just going to stop me correctly. It's Okay, so Okay, so whoever this is in this gang stalking situation, or this is you collective, whoever this is, gang stalking is out here. This is somebody that went towards doing something like this because they're getting paid. And this person is doing this as a side, something they're doing behind the scenes, collected to... Um, boost their income there's another form of income here this person getting paid to do this this could be somebody getting paid to do this towards you um but um robert is out here could be significant here hopefully somebody um isn't you know this is one of those people that's part of this gang stalking um but this is somebody here. The two of cups is out here. And um, the world card in the reverse. And I think Saturn energy is um, Cancerian. Like Cancer. Let's see what else we got. 
But um, this Two of Cups is out here in the upright Cap Capricorn energy. But this is um, this is somebody did this that is actually using this as a way to elevate themselves. But they had to make a decision, you know, between doing this and keeping a the job they have, you know, they the other job they have before they got involved in this gang stalking. But um this person isn't this isn't something this person this is something they were juggling, you know, deciding on whether they want to do this or not and this person decided not to do it. Maybe because they had to do it towards you what involved you but this person decided not to do it because they were juggling the decision to do you know whatever this gang stalking when you look up gang stalking it includes a lot of different variety a long a list of things gang stalking involves but it's people being targeted you know to you know make them delusional make them confused you know, and isolated, make them feel this way and feel like they need to be isolated. They go into isolation, you know, with the hopes that, you know, whatever is going on around them actually stops or whatever they're picking up on, you know, or finding to be intimidating or causing them some anxiety for the anxiety to be something so bad that it makes them isolated, you know, from everybody, from anybody that may help or be able to help them. Um... But this is a person, Capricorn, or this would be highly aspected in your past person's chart or yours. But whoever this um, you know, person is, they were juggling the decision or whether to do this or not. And they chose it. So some of you, they chose not to. But they would, you know, was getting paid to do this until it came to you. And... Um, You know, this gang stalking, you know, is mostly a group of people that's just lack of let me see, morals. They have a lack of morals, moral values. You know, um realist you know, realism doesn't exist in the mind of people that's part of gang stalking. And especially when you doing something for money. You know, here and you have some people, even, you know, people from your past that may have been involved in this towards you collective. You'd be surprised what people join in and do, especially a jealous sibling being part of some gang stalking. You know, to be sitting around pillow talking about you harshly, talk pillow talk, you know, just talking about you bad to other people. It's also part of gang stalking and malicious gossip and spreading rumors. That's part of gang stalking. You know what I'm saying? So, you got a jealous sibling out here that's part of this shit. And they was doing this because they was getting paid to do it. And you'll be surprised, you know, folks think family is family. And, it, you know, they look at family like, uh, how you say it? They look at family like they can't do no wrong. Or they look at family like, well, you know, that's my family, though. You know what I'm saying? Family gonna be family. No. <laughs> no. No, sir. No, man. You know, when we get called home and we got to go through that tunnel and we end up on that other side of that tunnel at the end of that light, and on the other side of that light, we going through a review and we getting, you know, judged based on our lessons learned here on earth. We look back on that shit with a, uh, I'm talking about with a wide open mind and just, you know, uh, carefree of fear or anything like that, you know, when you're on the other side and you be able to look back at them things you experiencing in life, th things you were part of, people you was around, decisions you made when you was around these people, you know, how your mind, what your mind was like when you made these decisions and what your mind was like when you didn't, you know, um, address something the way you should have or at all. But we all got to take accountability when we get when we stand before our father to be judged, or we, you know, stand exactly. 
So when it comes to us being judged and standing before our father, we there by ourselves. We're not there with people just because we was, we related to them. That's just in that life. You know, we've had many relatives in because we done met, lived many lives. That ain't the only relatives we, we, we've had. You know what I'm saying? Or have. You know, it's just a different life. We live in with, you know, for some of us, we live in, you know, a, a, another, a different life at a different pace with the same, you know, purpose in, in mind, in life, in this life as we had in the last one. And for others of you, we got, you know, different family, you know, new everything. You know what I'm saying? For some of us, for others of us, we don't. You know, some of us got the same family members we had in the past life, you know, because the purpose ain't changed. We just wasn't able to get to, you know, walking in our purpose, you know, but some for some of us, this is our second, you know, opportunity to do so. So, the child, mm -mm. And, you know, you got the seven of cups out here at the bottom of the deck. No, I'm Scorpio energy. It's an upright. Yeah. So this, 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 uh, gang stalking could also be somebody involving a Scorpio too. And this person, um, is topsy turvy, you know, when it comes to how to make choices. It could be a masculine or it could be a feminine here. Um, but I'm getting this a feminine though. It's a feminine energy, Scorpio, Scorpio feminine. But um you know, this person live in a fantasy world, you know, they thinking that what they doing, you know, that's hurting you is really you know, creating illusions and, you know, all kind of um, confusion for them. Because the minute, you know, this person, you know, realize what they, the damage they done caused, they have been done, by the time they realize the damage they done caused by doing this, being part of a ring of people like this, this person going to be so solely invested into doing this that the same people that's paying them to do this is going to do this to them. Only gonna only gonna turn it up a notch or two, and this and this person already this sibling jealous and all already mentally unstable, you know they already operating on a full tank of jealousy and envy too, and a little bit in a, in a a little pinch of spite uh spite, so yeah they got the whole recipe. You know, that can carry them a long ways in anxiety, self-destruction, and all that stuff. But when the tables turn, child, this person is going to realize just how much they dished out. They can't actually take and won't be able to take is what I'm hearing. Taylor could be significant to this read. First, middle, or last name, Taylor. This could be you, Baker, or a past person. And somebody here is saying, collective, what they could have had with you stay on their mind. But mm -hmm, child. if you have any, if you have a question or questions that may be something you need or in search of an answer to or getting, you know, a solid answer about a yes or no. Yes, it's out here. So whatever questions you may have prior to this read, you know, yesterday, today, um, regarding yourself or someone else or a situation, person, place, things. Yes, it's out here. Okay. 
or if you had a question about anything during the read. And somebody's a high priestess. I seen this out earlier. Well, this is you collected high priestess. I didn't make high priestess energy here. Carl could be significant to this read. And somebody just can't be taken seriously. Play too many games. Or oh, this is somebody from your past that feel like they can't take you seriously collected. For some of you, but for others of you, this is somebody from your past that you just can't take seriously. You can't take them seriously. Someone could be a warehouse worker, could be significant here, but somebody here, you know, just feel like they can't take you seriously for they could. But they 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 finding out though. If somebody thinks about um somebody here at times but they just don't want them back for real for real so there's somebody here collective but this is you got somebody from your past you may think about from time to time but it doesn't mean you want them back you know this person may be asking at this time you know if you think about them you know do they ever cross your mind and yes is out here but You don't think about them in the way that they would like, you know, that they would like. Like they were thinking. You don't think about this person like that to the point you want them back. Um, or that you, you know, interested in them. That's For some of you, that's why you haven't reached out to this person. Because you're not interested in them. They may cross your mind, but that's not, you know, enough for you to... You know, um, want them back for real, for real. So that's why this person may feel like they can't take you seriously. You know, because for a lot of you, this person had already designed a plan to walk away from you and ghost you or breadcrumb you and make you feel, make you know, to make the whole situation look like they were being undecisive. You know. They wanted you to make the decision to walk away so they can say that you are the one that normally walks away. But this is something this person, this masculine, actually preferred because they used that to manipulate the fact that they wasn't doing you right anyway. They just wanted to be able to say, you know, you was the one who walked away from them and they can't take you seriously. But this person knew exactly what they were doing because their mama told them to do it. Your mama told them to do it. And somebody need to get a second opinion about something. Somebody need to get a second opinion about something here. I don't know if it's a diagnosis, if it's a test result, pregnancy test, or um, STD, if it's a um, cancer screening or something. A shot of some sort, something, some surgery. But whatever it is, um, whoever this is, is um, this reading resonate, resonates with. If you have something medically going on that may need to be addressed or you have had it addressed and you're not settled or not content with what the findings were, get a second opinion. 
okay? Um, if this got something to do with an emotional standpoint, a mental standpoint, mental view about something or someone here, um, you know, you might want to seek guidance and help, you know, from somebody else more suited, you know, for this, maybe someone that's not a relative to you at all in no way, shape, form, or fashion. That's why some people go to therapists and um, counselors and thing, you know, people in those professions because most of those people don't have, they not biased towards you. They don't know if they saying something out of the way about somebody that may be part of what you got going on or the reason you got something going on or have any effect on you being, you know, the way you are. So these are complete strangers to you. They don't know you personally. So they going to give their opinion. They're going to say what's, what's what. They're going to let you say what's what. And then, you know, they're going to work backwards from there to help you move forward. Okay? That's for some of you, not all of you. But you could be seeing angel number 818. And that number um, 818 is a good time to manifest abundance, empowerment, and positivity. So in seeing this number, you know, if you paying attention to signs and synchronicity, some for some of you is music, for other others of you is numbers, you know, for the others of you there's nature, you know, signs in nature with birds, butterflies, water, trees, you know, things of that nature, you know. Um, but if you happen to look up you know, and you see this number at a time, you know, you may be going through something or just sitting idle somewhere, whatever the case may be, whatever your, um, they may bring and you see this number. That's what that means is uh, it's a good time to manifest, you know, abundance and, um, prosperity, positivity, you know, for yourself. And somebody is part of some type of secret group with this gang stalking. And they asked them broke a lot of spiritual laws against some chosen ones here. And that's what got, you know, a lot of these people involved or your past person or somebody involved that had to make a choice. And whether you make a choice or not, it's going to be one decided for you. Because when it comes to you attacking folks, you know, for money, it's the money not worth spiritually what you're going to have to endure, is what I'm hearing. It's just not. Some people think it is, but people doing what they're doing nowadays, the same thing they was doing back in the days, and that's stuff they was doing for money. They wanted to appear to look like they had it together, you know. And it's okay if you don't. It's okay if you ain't rich. And somebody here is physically, mentally, emotionally abusive. And this person that played games with your mind, with your heart, and allow, you know, influencers and being a people pleaser and not listen to their own intuition and discernment. This person used advice from their parent that caused you some mental abuse, some emotional abuse, because this person played on your emotions. You know. Yeah, they did. And the universe is not proud of this shit. They, it's just not. This person waiting on you to get in the green light for some of you collective. And this person that don't take you seriously, hell, they don't take you seriously because they don't take themselves that serious. This person know what they is capable of when you walked away or when they walked away from you. They knew what was going on with them. And whether they wanted to admit to what you talked about said brought up they know why you walked away they know why they walked away either way but don't trust you because i don't trust easy either this person don't trust people easily they damn self but they 
in the read saying how they having a hard time taking you seriously. You know, but this person got, you know, issues with trusting and, and trusting right off the bat too. You know what I'm saying? This person got some, some trust issues they damn self that they don't want to face. They need to be doing some, some healing work then. They need to be doing some serious healing work, some shadow work too. And somebody tried to lie to you about their birthday at one time to see if you would get them some. Man or woman. Because I'm getting this. This is for two separate energies. Man and woman. So this is not just a masculine thing. This is not just a feminine thing. Both may not know each other. But both are guilty of doing this in this energy. Somebody here both. Somebody here in this energy. Male and female have done this. They may not have. These are not two people that has been together and did this to each other. This is one and the other. Man and woman. With this woman, she's lied about her birthday to see if this masculine would get her something. For others of you, this is a masculine and lied about his birthday to see if this feminine would get him something. And this somebody respected how your ass don't settle, though. And they miss you, miss laying my head in your lap. This is this is a <laughs> child. This person know you ain't gonna settle for just no anything and no anybody. And that's why you teeter tottered around leaving this person alone because you was trying to get them, you know, the opportunity to make do of what you know they could, what you guys could have together with this person. They mama had and. Too much involvement in a love life at the time and still do for some of you. But this person, this is a masculine, they miss laying their head in your lap, collective. They miss that. They want you to unblock them, collective. Because they see you unbothered. They see you over here unbothered. Unbothered mean you ain't heard from the collective in a little minute. So they unbothered. I mean, what that person thought when they walked away from you or you walked away from them or they chose somebody else, you know, based off what their mama said, you know, over you collective. Whatever they thought you was going to amp up and do, it didn't happen. This person may be used to that kind of, you know, confrontational stuff, but they need to grow the fuck up, because that just requires you to have some bond money, good lawyer money, and, and not, you know, and plenty of get out of jail free cards. This person wants you to unblock them. For some of y'all, you have this person unblocked. But your ancestors got this person blocked spiritually. And you ain't got nothing to do with that. They know what this masculine's intentions is. And if they ain't pure, your ancestors is going to keep that ass where it's at. And that's, you know, not around you. Not able to be in contact with you like they want to. Earl can be significant to this read. His so-called friends gave him the wrong advice on purpose. Yeah, people please a child. I ain't got time for that. You saw the best in this person collected. And they up here listening to their mama when they came to you instead of seeing the best in you. But this person couldn't see the best in you because they couldn't see it in themselves. You had to see that. <laughs> you had to see that, Khalid. They didn't even see it in their damn self. Somebody's thinking of getting in touch with you in the next few weeks, Collective. 
and a woman. And everything about you is sexy, divine feminine, divine masculine. Somebody feel and think and know everything about you when it comes to them. Everything about you in their eyes is sexy. Because they know your love is real. But they they rejected their love for you. And if that person rejected their love for you, they rejected you. And their mama did too. And this person was fine with that until they wasn't. Huh? Until they wasn't. And they wasn't fine with it when they seen that you was unbothered by it. And one stuck in the ass. Didn't even, didn't even blow them up and speak up on it. Like they like what they were saying you was going to do. Is what I'm getting here. This person might have moved on. Talking shit. About how you. Uh, dating time and. All that when they was when you was gonna hit them up and they and they none of that shit popped off yet. Now they want you to unblock them because they 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 telling folks you got them blocked. That's why they can't um, get in touch with you. You still mad at them? This this fool ain't blocked. Yeah, people please. This person holding on to the special times of you and them. And a woman, but somebody holding on to them, them thoughts, baby, them, them special memories of how things used to be. And somebody they with is only with their ass just to steal from them anyway. This person was blinded by all the rituals and spell work. This past, this person they family approved of, they approved of over you. This person um, blinded by a lot of spell work and rituals. This, this feminine done did on his ass. And it left him in a, a state of confusion. You know, and anxiety. Confusion. This person did some illusion magic, then did some um come to me spells and sex spells and baby dark candle magic, sex magic, all kind of shit. So this 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 masculine being fully occupied in the spirit and uh but you know with their ancestors trying to get through to them, you know, for all this damn dark ass stuff that this karmic, you know, keep doing on their ass to keep them around. And somebody's relocating here. Is this somebody from your past collective or this is you relocating here? New home, new car is what I see. You know, you what you going toward. So this may involve you relocating to maybe another state here. Another community, different community. Yeah, you're re you're re for some of you you're relocating collective. That's for some of you, not all of you. For others of you, this is somebody from your past that's um relocating here. So your past person may have lived at a distance, like in another state or something, or overseas. Uh, for some of you, but that person is looking to come from where they are and maybe move closer to you. Or just out of the area where they are to another country, another state, you know, surrounding state or back home is what I'm getting here. But this person is relocating. Dodge Ram, a black Dodge Ram could be significant to this read.
And somebody here is admitting they're guilty of trying to control you because they was abusive. They, you know, the little game plan, mind manipulation they was doing, you know, collected to, you know, try to make you look bad or, you know, this jealous sibling saying things, you know, that they saying to try to keep people from looking at you in a certain light or a certain way and or looking at you as somebody attractive at all or whatever because of what this jealous sibling is saying and what this mother figure, you know, is saying. But this person, you know, they guilty of trying to control you in whatever manner that they felt, you know, it was okay. They know now that shit was wrong. And they feel guilty about that shit because somebody that don't sat down and, and brought this up to or mentioned this shit around doesn't say it. They probably, you know, hit that person, you know, in the good. They good punch. Somebody good punched this, this past person of yours with something they felt. They spoke up and said about this person, you know, maybe... Somebody that know your past person, man or woman, spoke up and said something that gut punched this masculine. And it made them feel like shit because this could have been a sibling. This could have been uh, just a, you know, a family member that's, you know, was sitting around when this masculine was talking or you got, he, he, he got questioned about you or, you know, somebody that they was dealing with from their past or somebody they, they family members ain't seen a lot of or at all that not knowing a mama had something to do with this for some of y'all. But this person, somebody said something to this masculine about how, well, something they said, commented on when they came to you and this, this whoever this was, they spoke their mind about this masculine, you know, thinking that shit was cool to treat you this way or to say what they were saying or use the words they was using. But this person feel guilty as hell now, you know, for um, doing what they did to you and handling you like they did because that's a form of control, you know, feeling like you need to be in control, you know, of somebody's happiness, a peace. And this person could be somebody that was part of this gang stalking ring of people. And now they feeling guilty that, you know, they did these things to try to control, you know, your mental state and how you felt about yourself, about your surroundings, about people. And it affected how you felt about them. And somebody here used a spell work on the damn court case. But it ain't going to be successful. They mouth menaces up, child. Hopefully this ain't no verbal uh spell they working on because they 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 mouth menace done ran the fuck out. The universe ain't got no more they time to ran out on they mouth menace done ran out with the universe. That's what I'm getting here. This court case is not gonna turn out in their favor. It's not, even if it's against you, Collective, it's just not going to turn out in their favor because people play too much with these chosen ones. They think they can get away with anything, everything. They may have 10 years ago. They may have five years ago. They may have two years ago, a year ago, two days ago. But it, it's, it's a no now. And they tend to be shown no in front of a lot of people. She is so excited to be given this new beginning with her new emperor. So there's a feminine out here that's excited, or this is you collective, excited as fuck that you going toward this new beginning with an emperor. This is somebody for some of you you've met already currently that you know you've moved forward with and enjoying the time that you have in connecting with this person and you know getting to know this person the way you're doing. But this, you know, has given you a different light to see, you know, this connection in because now it's, a, you know, you are allowing your heart and your, um, you know, your your heart, mind, body, and soul to be into this, and it's giving you this excitement of being able to experience this new beginning with somebody 
such as the person that you have ran into or that you have crossed paths with, you know, currently that's for some of you. For others of you, you have opened your heart to new love and this is what's coming towards you is, you know, this excitement, you know, for you with this emperor coming towards you the way that, you know, the universe has gifted this person and, and gifted you and this person the way they have. That this is your destiny. You know, this is your gift, you know, for enduring the things that you have had to deal with in such a chaotic connection that, you know, damn near everybody that was involved is, is distorted now. You know, they having to get back right with, with God before they can even get back, you know, with you. But this is somebody that's already right with God and they self and they ready to be right with you. And they coming towards you. They coming towards you and this is the, the excitement that's going to be felt before this person even make it to you. So keep doing what you're doing, collective. You know, because that emperor is coming. And if he find you, you know, enjoying whatever it is you do for a living, or if this person finds you, you know, doing... um. Just being in your childlike mind, you know, enjoying the day, enjoying the activity or event, let it happen, child, because you deserve it. And somebody want to know when is your birthday again, collective? Man or woman? Hell, mine. What's the time? Today? Mine is today. Mine is, or well, it's going to be tomorrow, the 10th. So yeah, I got one tomorrow. And somebody sending some high level demons your way. And that shit getting returned to sender immediately with seven years of bad luck. Never to return back to me again. That's what you say. Please and thank you to the most high God. To the most high God. Shit. You don't got time to be playing with these folks who send them high level demons right on back to their extra dumb ass. Because I'm just a messenger. Nobody got time for this right here. People keep attacking chosen ones and, you know, getting jealous fever and getting envy fever and, you know, so somebody here is going to get that mic check one, two, one, two, if uh, they decide that they want to keep running this assembly, you know, they want to keep orchestrating, you know, a, a practice run on these chosen ones. Sitting these demons, these some same demons that's going to get returned to sender with the evil eyes and everything else. When them demons come back, these high level demons come back, they are going to hunt the fuck out of these folks. These people will have a lot of paranormal activity going on. They're going to have a lot of illness, sicknesses that can't be explained. They're going to have a lot of, you know, little small things that's going to turn into huge shit out of nowhere that they ain't got no answer to. Even if they do, that ain't going to work. It's just going to make it worse is what I'm hearing. Telling you somebody here finna go to court for something they did. Something they involved in with this gang stalking this shit. They got their ass gonna end up going to court. And they using, you know, demonic spirits over this court case for it to go in their favor. And using demon spirits over court case to go wrong. I'm telling you, this is the second time that they came out. It's using these demons on this court case, Holy Spirit. There's something on this Holy Spirit. He was involved with this, these demons. Who's sending these high level demons? First court case to go on. Who is this sending these high level demons, Holy Spirit? Who's this in these high level things? Holy Spirit, please and thank you.
child of damn nine of swords is out here gemini energy in the reverse and the nine of wands is out here sagittarius energy in the upright So whoever this is using this the, these demonic spirits over this court case for it to go wrong, this person, whoever this is involved in, um, man or woman, child, they gonna have to face exactly what the hell they going to court for. They gonna have to own up to whatever it is they going to court for, and they gonna be they in some mental anguish about this shit. And they suffering because they refuse to face the cause of this shit. They refuse to accept exactly what this court case consists of that they was involved in. They involved in their accountability for whatever role they played in this court case that's been brought up against them. This person is sitting here now in a nine of swords energy because they have refused to accept what they being tried and convicted on. But whoever this is that is taking their ass to court is gone. They may be able to um, get a win out of this, maybe. Or this, you know, this, um, these, these demons that they using toward this court case, it may you know, get them the outcome they're looking for, but that's that's a that's a hard maybe. Because they gonna have to take some accountability for the fact that they had a large part to do with this court case being brought up against them. For it to even be a court case that somebody followed through and decided to even go to court on. Because a lot of things sometimes, you know, with accountability and, and stuff is in, in play, they put an offer on the table, but if that offer is not something that's going to be any lesser than actually going to court, then they're going to prefer you just go to court and take your chances. And this person done ended up going to court, taking their chances on beating this. You know, it shows, you know, some determination, some courage. You know, under the, the fire that they being, that's being set up under their ass, but. This person going, they going to have to be prepared for the fight, you know, that they walking into when they come to this court case. Because this may not work for them. This may not, these demons may not get them the outcome they want. They're going to have to just be prepared to, you know speak up and speak out on whatever is being whatever they being accused of that they know they you know is being they know whatever they being accused of they know this this to be true and that they did do this and or was part of whatever this is so hmm. but it could be a Sagittarius or it could be a, a Gemini or it could be some, you know, where it highly aspected in you and your past persons or these people in, you know, that's involved, highly aspected in a charter. This is the, one of their signs. But this is all I got for you collective at this time. Hopefully this read helps someone here um, in some way, shape, form, or fashion. You guys, thank you all for coming back to my channel and do something nice for someone today, even if you don't know them. And yeah, so I know for sure. Just speaking on myself and my ancestors and my spirit team, I know they're going to, you know, stay all over me, all over me, loving on me because I can feel it. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, my birthday is tomorrow. So, at this time, maybe when you guys get this reading, you know, it will be the day of my birthday or have already passed. Will have already passed. But I celebrate my birthday all through the month of February, period, mainly because 
the things I want to do for my birthday don't just lie on that day. You get what I'm saying? Like, every day is like a birthday. It's like a celebration for me. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, hopefully you do something nice for someone today, even if you don't know them. And even if you don't love me, you know I love you. All right. Later. Bye.